What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today I'll be showing you my finds from last week. But first, someone commented on my video that was uploaded six months ago saying there are newer red editions and I'm well aware that there are new red editions because they are right here. But now let's get on to J case. I found all J case but one. It was a 70 Camaro RS from then and now. Otherwise that's the only other one I'm missing. But let's start off with the Surf's Up. Recolor from the red one in the D case. Pretty cool. We have the 89 Mazda Savannah RX-7 FC3S. In a nice white. And you get front and back light tampos. It was in... There was no previous color this year. But it was in red last year and it was a new model last year. 69 Copo Camaro. And Falcon livery. This one's really cool from the speed graphics. Uh, there's the ID Chase of this one. For the J case, but I can't find it. But my friend said if he finds it, he will trade. He will trade. Uh, we got the A2 Dodge Rampage. It's been a while since this has been released. I don't remember the last time it was released, but I know it's been a while. Pretty cool. It's the first one in the Hot Truck series. Pretty cool. We have the 87 Dodge D100. I believe this has been released every single year ever since its new model. It was a new model in 2018, I believe. Then in 2019, it, was, it had two colors. And this year, or in 2020, it had two colors. And this year, it has those. I believe it was a Zamac last year as well. We have probably the best car of this case is the 2020 Toyota Supra. New for 2021. Speed graphics, 5 of 10. It's the first new model. And if you want to read that, you can. It's pretty cool. Here's another new model. We got the Ducati Scrambler Hot Wheels Edition. It's Moon Eyes, which is pretty cool. You can read that if you want. It's pretty cool. Nothing I'd get, nothing I'd open though, since I can't really put it on the track or display it. This one's cool. This one hasn't been released in, in the main line for, I think, three years? Two years? No, yeah, three years. I think it was last released in the main line in 2018. So this one's pretty cool. And silver, you get backlight tampos, no frontlight tampos, but pretty cool from the Hot Wheels Torque 5 of 5. Here's another Torque. This is a recolor of the one from the J or D case. It was originally in red. I have every single color of this car except for the GameStop exclusive from 2020 in blue. We have the Skyline 2000 GTR Ken Mary. Right here, I really like this casting. I'm not the biggest JDM person, but I do really like this casting. From the Then and Now, 9 of 10. And I believe the last Then and Now car is actually the 91 Mazda MX-5 Miata in the K case, which is the treasure hunt of the K case. After that, we'd have all of these, except for recolors. But I can't wait to complete that set. I have the 268 Mustang, originally in black, in the B case. I really like this, like, what was that, like a beige? Pretty cool. We have the 67 Ford Mustang Coupe. I don't, I think this was last released in 2019 in the art cars, like in mainline. So this one's pretty cool. I like the purple on here. No front or back plate tampos, but you have side stripes and hood stripes. We got the 80 El Camino originally in the B case in blue. I like this color a lot more. The windows are orange, the interior is orange instead of the yellow and the red one. The base is purple. This is like, I really like this one. This is the Super. I don't have the Super, but this is what, if this and Spectre Flame Aqua or whatever. And then um, rubber tires, he would have the Super, but I don't have the luck to find that. I've not found a single Super this year yet, but I found four last year. But pretty cool. I don't really, I don't really like the wheels on it, but it's fine. I can deal with it. This is a fantastic recolor. I really like this blue. We got the 2006 Pontiac GTO. Originally an orange from the D case. Burnt orange. I don't know if I like the burnt orange or this blue better. It's hard to choose. Factory Fresh. Uh, this casting was last released in 2019, or not 2019, 2017 in the main line. I'm talking about mainline, not premium or anything, but 
I believe it was a new model in 2015. I think it was in white and then recolored in red. And then 2016 it was in blue and then it was the super. And then in 2017 it was that orange one right there. But I could be wrong. But cool casting. Uh, Lancia, Lancia, however you pronounce it. You have the Delta Integral. Another new model. But well, this is a recolor of a new model. Originally in white in the C case. And now it's in black. Um, you have the Turtle Shell. Another new model. Uh, this is actually based off a, I think a turtle on Instagram named Helix or something. Um, yeah, Helix. Yeah, he had his back legs and could not walk. Yeah, so he had a pair of wheels. That's, so then they, and I think he actually passed away, but he was pretty popular on Instagram. And at first when I seen this, I didn't know it was actually based off of um, a real life turtle in real life. So I wasn't going to pass it up. Until I read the back and seen it was a real life turtle. And actually, ever since I've seen that one at Target, I've seen like three three of them when the JK's dropped at my Target. I've never seen it since. So I'm glad I actually picked it up. Then you have the JK's Basic Treasure Hunt, which is the Chrysler Pacifica. Don't worry, there were plenty of these. There were six cases there and there were like seven of these somehow, I don't know. No ID though. But yeah, treasure hunt. I only took two, and actually, I think I might be trading one to a friend. But there you go. Congratulations, this symbol means you just found a collectible treasure hunt car. Other than the uh, Mustang Funny card, this is probably the second best treasure hunt. Alright, let's move on to premiums. The same person that commented about the red editions also commented about. How there's new um, Fast and Furious premiums, and I'm aware of that too. We have the 92 Fox body. Nice car. They all have front and back light tampos. But, and we have a black stripe there, or whatever. They're all metal body, metal bases, rubber tires. Pretty cool. Not the, in my opinion, this is not the best one on the set. There's a, I think there is, I have a favorite, and then there's two that are tied for second. This one right here is tied for second. The W Motors Lycan Hypersport. Been in anticipating for Hot Wheels to make this, and they finally did. Can't wait to see it in the main line. But we got full front and backlight treatment. Do we have backlight treatment? Yeah, we do. Metal body, metal base, and we got 10 spokes. I believe that's what those are. We have the 69 Dodge Charger, probably... Along with the Mustang, just one that I'm not the biggest fan of. I mean, I like it, but eh. flat black, front and back light. No front light tampos, just grill. You can just see the grill. Then you got these, like, beige tan tires, rims, and then um, black base. This one... You know what? These next two I'm going to show you are probably the best ones in the set. Tied for number one. Mitsubishi Eclipse. I really like the Eclipse. I really like this one. This one's probably my favorite out of the two. Um, Black Hood. and Yeah, this thing's just really cool. And uh, got the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, we actually... I actually have um, a Summit. Which is white summit. So I'm actually going to paint this white. I got another one today and I'm going to customize it white. But next up we have the Dutchland design. No, that's not Dutchland. It's like Dutz, Dutzland. I, whatever the hell that is. Um, we got the Porsche 959. Um, this casting, we have not seen it in a while. Last year it was in the off-road rally, whatever. I don't remember what that set is called. I have it hanging up. It's right there. I can probably get it. Or is it the throw, throw climbers? I don't know, it's wild terrain. But ever since this casting has been vanished for a while. But it's in a nice white. Really like this one. Uh, best car in this set by far is this one. 
nice blue. We got the BMW M3 E36. It was um, appeared last year in the Fast and Furious Eurofast. Amazing. I like the teal wheels on there. But this one's also cool with the blacked out wheels. We have the Audi S4 Quattro. Another really cool one. Uh, we got the Mercedes-Benz 300 SEL 6.8 AMG. I thought this was the one that was released in the Modern Classics, but I realize it's not. They're close, but not really. I really do like this one. There's a lot of tampo work on there. You can get front and back light treatment. This one's really cool. And the hardest one to find in the set, of course, anytime this is released, it's always going to be hard to find. Volkswagen T1 panel bus. I think it's okay. Nothing much to say about it. Um, next up, I went, was at Walmart, and I found this new truck set. I don't know what it's called. Cargo trucks or something? Trucks? I don't know. You got the 65 Ford Ranchero, the 72 Chevy Love, Land Rover Series 3 pickup. I thought that would be the um, easiest one to find, but no. It's actually this Ranchero because I went to another Walmart, and there was like six of these hanging on the pegs and none of the other ones. Datsun 620 and the Mazda Repu. Pretty cool. And uh, I did pick up another one as well, but I'm going to give that set to a friend. And then um, we got a collectible store find. We got the Fast Feline 2009 new model in a maroon. It was a dollar, but as I was taking off the sticker, the sticker was kind of hiding this right here. And uh, I also made sure when I peeled off the sticker, it did not peel off the card. So that was already there. Because when I uh, looked at the sticker, there was no like cardboard on there so they put the sticker on there to hide the fact that it was already ripped but and it's also bent here but i don't care as long as i have it i'm fine and then uh another collectible store got a mitsubishi eclipse concept car with the light bar on there this one's pretty cool it's from 2011 throw racers i actually have a lot of these throw racers most of the real ones i real cars i probably have at that same collectible store, I found this for a great deal, $10. We have the Datsun 240C Z Basic Treasure from 2011. Now, if it was the Super, it'd probably be like $100, but it was the Basic, so it was only $10. Bucks. And it came in this nice protector. They had a lot of Datsuns, like the 510s, for like $10 as well. I only had uh, $13 on me. Because usually things there are cheap, but that was $3, and I could not pass that up. And uh, once again, this was $10. But I thought that was a steal, so I got it. I passed up some of the 510s. Like, that red one up there, that Fast and Ever. There was that gray one. There was the cinnamon colored one of that blue one. And there were some other ones. There were no wagons, though. But yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, this one. Really like this casting. It is from the H case. But, um, I decided to open it. I'm just deciding to show you. And this one's pretty... I really like this one. I bought, like, six of these. And I re kind of regret it. I But I kind of don't at the same time. I did the same thing with the Ryzen Express. And I didn't regret it. But this one's really cool. We haven't had anything. I mean, we kind of have something like this. Like the Surf and School Bus. But not really something cool as this. Just wanted to get that out, out there. Then uh, I stopped at a Fry's. And every time I go to a Fry's, there's always some older main lines. And uh, yeah, these are fake cars. But I mean, they've been sitting on the pegs for three years. Like this one, what's this one? GK. So yeah, this one's been sitting on the pegs for three years. There are two of them. And uh, I, I believe I didn't have it. Even if I do, it doesn't matter. It's still a 2018 car and it was a dollar. And uh, they had some twin mills. I, I'm starting to really like the twin mill. And uh, this isn't scalping. Because, I mean, they've been sitting on the pegs for three years. Right there. The blue one is from the H case. And the red one is from the D case. So, yeah, these things have been sitting on the pegs for three years. No one wanted them. So, it's not really scalping. I just took them took back their old stock. And there was a lot of the... Uh, same cars there there was like i believe there was a uh 2018 new model of the air eruption that stupid wing car and then there was a bunch of those like radical racers in orange 
I believe I should have them somewhere. Because I was also looking through here just to make sure I didn't have those yet. But I didn't. So I'm gonna look through this real quick. Right here. This one, there was like a whole bunch of these. There's like 10 of them. And then, um... There's a whole bunch of these as well. Well, not that one. Where is it? This one. There are a whole bunch of these. There were also like two of these. I believe there was one of this. And then, uh, but surprisingly, there were no GoPro cars, which I thought was kind of crazy. Most of these actually did come from a fries, because I, or else I wouldn't have bought them. Like this one, I literally would never have bought this. Because back in 2018, I'd, I could care less about the fake cars. Even if they were treasure hunts, I didn't care about them. Well, some of them I did. Like this one. This was actually my first ever treasure hunt find in store was this one. What was this? L case? Okay. So I can put these over here now. Let's put that away. And I will make a video about me going through my um, fake cars. Otherwise, at Target we got some more three packs. This is the exact same three pack I already have, except there's no Volkswagen Beetle in yellow. It's this passing gasser in like this pink or red. But I don't mind mind that because I don't have this. And it came with another Lamborghini. This Lamborghini, I haven't been able to find many of them, and I really like this casting. See, we got green one in this three pack green one in this three pack and uh this nine pack as well at the time i only bought this pack this ten dollar pack for that and that bone shaker um and that orange camaro but i didn't end up finding that orange camaro in another three pack the lamborghini another three pack and the beetle in a three pack and that mclaren in a three pack so really i only bought it for this porsche and this bone shaker but then, as I was going through my 9-packs, I realized I had three 9-packs with these in them. And a uh, 3-pack as well. So now, this is my 5th one. So really, I paid $10 for that bone shaker. But I don't mind. It was my money, so I don't care. So this was the other 3-pack I found. It's the Orange Camaro. And it came with the Blue Huracan. I've been looking for this one. The last multi-pack exclusive I'm looking for, I believe, is the Red Gallardo. I feel like I already had a three pack with the Camaro in it. Um, here, right there, I already had that one. That time, this one had the Jaguar in it, though. This is a long video, but uh, another truck set. I already showed that. Thanks to a friend, I was able to get the Skyline because, of course. They had like, at my Walmart, they had probably had like eight pegs full of these, which would probably be around, I don't know, um, five cases. So there would have been around ten Skylines. None of them were there. But thanks to a friend, I had gotten this Skyline. Otherwise, the other four were there. There were a lot of those Corvettes. I mean, that's probably the worst one on the set. Um, found this on the Marketplace for $10. And uh, yes, I'm... I'm not lying. I found this for ten dollars. Well, fourteen for shipping, but four dollars for this. I can pay fourteen for this. I don't have this one, so this will make. Uh, I believe I have ten supers from twenty twenty. Yeah, I believe I have ten supers from that year. Uh, ROC Selections Forty One Willys Gasser from twenty twenty. Nice. I've been waiting a year for these, and I'm actually trading one of these to my friends for two Supers. My friend offered me two Supers for one, and of course I said yes. I'm going to keep one. But yeah. And then uh, finally, finally, there were new IDs. Haven't seen new IDs in four months. Ever since the first Mix Series 2 came out at Walmart. First up, we have the McLaren Senna. I can't believe I actually found this one hidden. I found this one hidden. But I really was looking for this one. And I actually ended up finding two of them. This one I found hidden, but before that, I actually got one in the mail from 
someone else along with this one. The Mustang. This is probably the best ID car I have. Even though I'm not a big fan of Mustangs, this is an amazing car. I bought both of these from someone. Or actually, I traded them for Motosaurus ID and the, I believe... I, um, the time, or the time of taxi, yeah. I don't know, a bone shaker, actually. The bone shaker and the Motosaurus ID chase, and I got both of those. I got a steal, and then I found another one of these. In the store, of course, I grabbed it. The track manga, uh, I believe this was the same mix as those. I don't, I don't know. But, yeah, it was, a, that was the same mix with the RS200. Wait, no, it was, no, never mind, never mind. This was the one with the RS200. You can find these everywhere. That one in the RS200 also had the same ones that were also in there were the uh, Centenario, the Fair Lady, which I don't have, and the Batmobile, which I do not have. Otherwise, I found the newest mix of IDs, uh, Mix D or Mix E. I don't know which one it is, but... Not the greatest ID cars, but I collect them. We have the Speed Dozer, which will probably be literally everywhere, but these are the only two left. And uh, probably one of the best looking fake car ID chases, in my opinion, we have the Asphalt Assault. Otherwise, yeah, that is it for my haul from last week. Comment down below uh, your favorite thing that you've seen in this video, and I will see you guys in my next video.